up Jalasi, in Talawasi, Charlie Harvey, and my spirit name is Sankawejewiksibu, meaning gentle river. I stand before you today as your valedictorian, and I'm very humbled and honored. But what do you see when you look at me standing in front of you? A student? Yes, but there are other students here. A female? Yes, but there are lots of females who attend NSCC. I'm a wee bit older than most college graduates, but that's okay. But I'm Indigenous, and that is one thing that makes me unique. And if there's one word that could describe this past year, it would be unique. Being Indigenous for me meant living most of my life in fear. But when I made the choice to come back to school and move towards my vision of helping my people, I was unsure of how I would be received. My fears were the same as they had always been. But to my surprise, I was welcomed with open arms, open ears, and open minds. Did you feel the same way when you began your journey of learning at NSCC? Were you unsure and timid like me? Were you surprised too? Together, we have been through many ups and downs over the past two years, especially in the last year itself. We've persevered through some challenging times, from losing a fellow classmate in early March, to having the entire school shut down by the end of March, followed by the entire world shutting down after that. We can officially say that we graduated during a worldwide pandemic. I'd say that makes us all pretty unique. Well-known author Brene Brown writes about owning your stories, which is something that I was afraid to do until I came to NSCC. She writes, only when we have the courage to own our history are we able to write a brave new ending to our story. We've all come to NSCC with our own unique personalities, dreams, and visions of what we want to do. And no matter what we had to do to overcome, adjust, and readjust, with the help of our NSCC family, we managed to be resilient and persevere. The world keeps on changing, and we have to change with it. For me, I will continue on with my education to become the best helper that I can be. But no matter what you choose to do after graduation, remember to stay strong, own your stories, and create those brave new endings. Congratulations, NSCC, graduating COVID class of 2020. We did it. Well, according to